Have you ever pondered why time seems to speed up when you're at higher altitudes? It's not just your imagination, it's a real phenomenon. You've just stumbled upon the fascinating world of the interplay between time and gravity. Let's start with the basics. Time, as we understand it, is a constant forward march. It's a universal metronome that ticks away, second after second, minute after minute, and so on. It's the invisible thread weaving the fabric of our reality. Now picture gravity. It's not just the force that keeps your feet planted on the ground. It's a fundamental force of nature that shapes the universe, bending space and influencing the paths of planets and galaxies. Now what if I told you that these two seemingly disparate entities, time and gravity, are intricately linked? It sounds like a science fiction plot, doesn't it? But it's a scientific reality, a concept known as time dilation. Time dilation is a difference in the elapsed time, as measured by two observers, due to a relative velocity between them, or to a difference in gravitational potential between their locations. In simpler terms, time moves slower when it's near a significant source of gravity. That's right, the closer you are to a massive object, like a planet or a star, the slower time ticks away. And this isn't just theoretical, it's been proven through countless experiments and observations. So, if you've ever felt like time flies when you're on top of a mountain, it's not just the exhilaration of the view, it's because you're a little further from Earth's center of gravity, and time actually is ticking away slightly faster than it does at sea level. So gravity and time, two seemingly unrelated concepts, have a mysterious connection. Intrigued? Let's delve into this enigma. Gravity. It keeps us grounded, literally, but what exactly is it? Picture two objects. It could be anything, a pair of dice, two planets, or even two galaxies. Now imagine an invisible force that pulls them towards each other. That force, ladies and gentlemen, is gravity. Gravity is a fundamental force of nature, one that acts on all matter, all energy, everywhere in the universe. It's like that popular kid in school who, for some reason, everyone seems to be attracted to. But instead of charm or charisma, gravity uses mass to pull things in. The more mass an object has, the stronger its gravitational pull. Think about it. When you jump, you don't just keep floating up into the sky, you come back down. Why? Because Earth, with its massive size, has a strong gravitational pull that pulls you back. That's why we say gravity keeps us grounded. It's the reason we don't just fly off into space. But gravity isn't just about keeping your feet firmly planted on the ground. It's the glue that holds the universe together. It's the reason why planets orbit around stars, why galaxies cluster together, and why the universe has the structure it does today. Yet, gravity isn't just an Earth thing or even a solar system thing. It's a universal thing. It acts on all matter and energy, no matter where they are in the universe. From the smallest speck of dust to the largest galaxy, everything is subject to gravity's pull. But here's the thing, gravity is incredibly weak. Yes, you heard that right. Despite its universal reach and its role in shaping the universe, gravity is the weakest of the four fundamental forces of nature. In fact, it's about a trillion, trillion, trillion times weaker than electromagnetism. That's a lot of trillions. So. Why does gravity feel so strong? Well, it's because gravity adds up. Every bit of Earth's mass contributes to its gravitational pull, and Earth is pretty big, right? So, all that mass adds up to create a force strong enough to keep us grounded. But here's where it gets a bit tricky. Gravity isn't just about mass and distance, it's also about time. Yes, time. That thing that keeps ticking away second by second, minute by minute. But how does gravity connect with time? That's where things get really interesting. You see, Gravity can bend not just space, but also time. This idea comes from Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which we'll delve into more in the next scene. For now, just remember this. Gravity and time are intimately connected in ways that are both mind-boggling and fascinating. Gravity, a force so familiar yet so profoundly mysterious. Now let's turn our attention to its partner in this dance, time. Time, it's unidirectional, unyielding, and unlike space seems to have a mind of its own. Let's talk about time, the fourth dimension. We live in a universe with three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height. You can move back and forth, left or right, up or down, but time, the fourth dimension, behaves differently. It seems to flow only in one direction, forward. The idea of time as a dimension is a powerful one. It means that time is an integral part of the fabric of the universe, interwoven with the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with. Like a thread through a tapestry, time winds its way through our existence, forever pushing us forward. But why is time different from space? Why can't we move backward in time as easily as we can move backward in space? This is where the concept of the arrow of time comes in. 
The arrow of time is a term coined by British astronomer Arthur Eddington in the 1920s to describe the one-way direction of time. One explanation for the arrow of time is entropy, the measure of disorder in a system. According to the second law of thermodynamics, in an isolated system, entropy always increases over time. This means that systems naturally evolve from a state of order to a state of disorder. Think of a cup of hot coffee left on a table. It cools down because the heat or energy disperses. This increase in entropy gives time a direction, from past to future, from the hot coffee to the cold one. Another reason why time is different from space is due to the nature of our perception. We perceive time as flowing because our brains process changes and events in a sequential manner. This perception of time as something that moves, that flows, is deeply ingrained in our consciousness, in our language, and in our culture. But what if our perception is skewed? What if time doesn't really flow but is static, like space? Some theories suggest that all moments in time exist simultaneously, and that it's only our consciousness that's moving through these moments, creating the illusion of time's flow. This idea, known as eternalism, suggests that past, present, and future are equally real, and they exist together in a four-dimensional block universe. Time, then, is a dimension like any other, with one key difference. We can't control our movement through it. We're like passengers on a train, unable to change the speed or the direction of our journey. Time sweeps us along, relentless and unyielding. Time, as elusive as it is essential. Now that we have an understanding of both time and gravity, let's explore their connection. Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius, was the first to propose the connection between time and gravity. In the early 20th century, Einstein shattered the Newtonian worldview with his theory of general relativity. Where Newton saw gravity as a force acting between two bodies, Einstein saw it as a warping or curving of space-time around a massive object. But what exactly does that mean? Let's unpack it. Imagine space-time as a stretchy fabric. When you place a heavy object on it, like a bowling ball, the fabric bends around it. Now if you roll a smaller ball, say a marble near the bowling ball, it will naturally roll towards it. Not because the bowling ball is pulling it, but because the path the marble takes is curved by the weight of the bowling ball. That's a simplistic metaphor for how gravity works in general relativity. But where does time fit into this picture? Well, it comes in when we consider the space in space-time. We live in a four-dimensional universe with three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, and one of time. These aren't separate, but interconnected. When a massive object warps space-time, it's not just affecting how things move through space but also how they move through time. Einstein's equations showed that the presence of mass and energy distorts space-time, and the greater the mass or energy, the greater the distortion. This distortion affects both spatial and temporal dimensions. When space-time is curved by a massive object, time itself slows down. This isn't just an abstract concept, but something we can measure. Clocks closer to a massive object actually tick slower compared to those further away. This is where the real magic of Einstein's theory comes in. It not only describes how gravity works but also gives us a way to understand the connection between time and gravity. It tells us that gravity isn't just a force that pulls objects towards each other, but a curvature of space-time that affects how time flows. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower time passes. Einstein's theory of general relativity, revolutionary as it was, has stood the test of time. It has been confirmed by countless experiments and observations, from the bending of light by the sun to the detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes. It has given us a deeper understanding of the universe, revealing the intimate connection between time and gravity. But it's not just about understanding the universe. General relativity has practical applications too. It's crucial for the operation of GPS satellites, which need to take into account the time dilation caused by Earth's gravity to provide accurate positioning data. It's also key to understanding extreme cosmic phenomena like black holes and neutron stars, where gravity is so strong that it significantly warps space-time. Albert Einstein, a man of exceptional intellect, looked at the universe and saw a cosmic ballet where space and time danced to the tune of gravity. His theory of general relativity has changed the way we view the universe, painting a picture where time and gravity are not separate, but interwoven in the fabric of space-time. Einstein's theory gave us a new way to view the universe where time and gravity are interwoven. But how does this theory play out in real life? From the GPS in your car to the mysterious black holes, the connection between time and gravity has real-life implications. 
This is where the theory of relativity leaves the realm of abstract physics and steps into our everyday lives. Let's start with something many of us use daily, the global positioning system, better known as GPS. How does this tie into our discussion about time and gravity? Well, the answer lies in the concept of time dilation, an interesting outcome of Einstein's theory of relativity. Time dilation refers to the difference in the elapsed time as measured by two observers due to a relative velocity between them or the presence of a gravitational field. In simpler terms, time can slow down or speed up depending on how fast you're moving or how much gravity you're experiencing. Now, let's zoom out to the satellites orbiting Earth, which are responsible for the functioning of GPS. These satellites are moving at high velocities and are further away from the Earth's gravitational pull compared to us on the surface. This means that, according to Einstein's theory, time ticks faster for them than for us. If we didn't take this into account, the GPS system would give inaccurate results. In fact, without correcting for time dilation, GPS coordinates would be off by about 6 miles every day. That's about the distance between the Statue of Liberty and Central Park in New York. So, every time you use your GPS to navigate, you're indirectly witnessing the fascinating interplay between time and gravity. Now let's dive deeper into the cosmos and talk about one of the most enigmatic phenomena out there, black holes. A black hole is an area in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. They're like the ultimate manifestation of gravity's power. But how does time come into the picture? Well, remember when we said that gravity can warp time? In the vicinity of a black hole, this effect is magnified to an extreme. As you get closer to a black hole, the gravitational pull becomes stronger and time slows down. This is often referred to as gravitational time dilation. Imagine dropping a clock into a black hole. As it gets closer to the black hole, the clock would appear to tick slower and slower compared to a clock that's far away. Eventually, as it reaches the event horizon, the point of no return, the clock would appear to stop completely. Of course, this is all theoretical. We can't really drop a clock into a black hole to test this. But these thought experiments and the mathematical models they're based on have given us valuable insights into the relationship between time and gravity. Now you might wonder, what does this have to do with our everyday lives? Well, understanding black holes and the way they warp time can help us understand the fundamental laws of the universe. And who knows, maybe one day this knowledge could lead to groundbreaking technological advancements. What's fascinating is that these extreme phenomena, the time dilation experienced by GPS satellites and the time warping effects of black holes, are both manifestations of the same fundamental principle, the connection between time and gravity. It's a principle that operates not only in the far reaches of space but also right here on Earth, shaping our reality in ways we often overlook. In conclusion, both the GPS in your pocket and the black holes in the cosmos are practical and extreme examples of how gravity affects time. They show us that time is not a fixed, unchanging entity. It is flexible, malleable, and subject to the forces of gravity. From the everyday to the extraordinary, from terrestrial technology to cosmic curiosities, the connection between time and gravity is ever-present and profoundly impactful. It's not just a theory in a physics textbook, it's a fundamental aspect of our universe that has tangible, real-world implications. Time and gravity, as intertwined as they are, shape our reality in ways we're only beginning to understand. Despite the leaps we've made in understanding time and gravity, mysteries remain. Yes, even in the 21st century, as we stand at the pinnacle of technological innovation, we are still grappling with some of the universe's most profound questions, and the relationship between time and gravity is one such enduring enigma. So what are these unanswered questions? Well, one of the biggest conundrums is how gravity works at the quantum level. You see, Einstein's theory of general relativity explains gravity beautifully on a large scale, like the movement of planets and galaxies. But when we zoom into the subatomic world, this theory falls short. Enter quantum mechanics. This field of study handles the tiny particles of the universe and it's here where gravity becomes a bit of a party pooper. The force of gravity, as described by quantum mechanics, is fundamentally incompatible with general relativity. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, it just doesn't work. This is famously known as the problem of quantum gravity. Another intriguing question is whether gravity can influence time beyond the confines of our planet. We know from experiments and observations that gravity can slow down time, a phenomenon known as time dilation. But does this happen only on Earth or is it a universal principle? And can gravity in some way alter the flow of time in other parts of the universe? 
These questions continue to baffle scientists and researchers alike. And it's not just about questions. There are several exciting avenues for future research. One of the most promising is the search for a unified theory, often referred to as the theory of everything. This theory aims to reconcile the contradictions between general relativity and quantum mechanics, providing a comprehensive explanation of how the universe works. Another exciting area is the study of gravitational waves. These ripples in the fabric of space-time, predicted by Einstein and confirmed in 2016, hold the potential to unlock new understanding about black holes, neutron stars, and perhaps even the origins of the universe itself. There's also the tantalizing possibility of discovering new dimensions. Some theories propose that gravity might leak into other dimensions, which could explain why it's so much weaker than the other fundamental forces. If proven, this could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and perhaps even open the door to interdimensional travel. The exploration of time and gravity is a journey that's far from over. It's a voyage filled with questions, paradoxes, and the promise of astounding revelations. And as we continue to push the envelope, to question, to explore, we are writing a new chapter in our understanding of the universe. As we continue to probe the mysteries of the universe, who knows what new connections we'll uncover. Let's take a moment to revisit the enigmatic connection between time and gravity. We started our journey by peeling back the layers of gravity, a force that keeps us grounded, literally and figuratively. We saw how gravity isn't just a downward pull, but a fundamental interaction that shapes the universe, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. Next, we ventured into the realm of the fourth dimension, time. We explored how time is more than just the ticking of a clock. It is an integral part of the space-time fabric of our universe, a dimension as real as the three spatial ones we're familiar with. Then, we dove into the world of general relativity, Einstein's groundbreaking theory that revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, we discovered how gravity is actually the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy, and time, being part of this space-time fabric, gets influenced by gravity, causing it to slow down near massive objects, a phenomenon known as time dilation. We saw this theory come to life with examples of GPS systems and black holes. The tiny time adjustments made in GPS satellites to counteract time dilation ensures their precise operation, and the extreme gravity of black holes bending space-time to its will, creating a place where time as we know it ceases to exist. Lastly, we acknowledge that our understanding of time and gravity as profound as it is still has unanswered questions. The quantum realm, for instance, remains elusive to the incorporation of gravity, posing a grand challenge for future research. So here we are, having traversed the fascinating landscape of time and gravity. We've seen how these two seemingly distinct concepts are woven together, shaping the universe and our lives within it. Yet, the more we learn, the more mysteries we uncover, reminding us that we still have much to explore. As we journey through the cosmos, the dance of time and gravity continues to captivate us, ever reminding us of the wonders of our universe.